point is, if we don't declare an environmental emergency now, in 12 years or less, we may not have an environmental emergency on. Coming from me as a 14-year-old girl, I'll tell you what it means to me to be, for me to be growing up in an age of rapid climate change. It's scary, it's stressful, and it's distressing to be faced with an uncertain future. Most of you probably looked forward to a safe and secure future, a good education, a good career, having a family, but I'm faced with the possibility that life on Earth won't be so certain. Luckily, there's people like us who keep the door open, and there's still a chance for the people with the door shut. There's always a little bit of light shining around the edges and underneath. And if we can work together, work towards a more sustainable future, one that is powered by wind and sun and not dirty fossil fuels, we will all start to see the light. Climate change isn't an opinion anymore. It's a scientific fact. We live in a beautiful place here in Australia, and particularly in the northeastern part of Victoria. We are surrounded by crisp, clean air. We have clean water to drink, beautiful rivers, lush green valleys, and snow-capped mountains. It would be easy to think that climate change doesn't exist, but sadly, it does. It's easy to go about your normal life thinking, it doesn't affect me, so why worry? But what we need to remember is that we are all in the same boat. And if that boat has a leak, eventually we will all sink. We're already suffering from the impacts of climate change, globally and locally. We've had the hottest July and October on record. The world just witnessed the first glacier melt in Iceland. We've had unprecedented bushfires ravage New South Wales and Queensland while parts of Victoria and Tasmania were covered in snow. Australia's climate is changing faster than we can manage, making it clearer than ever that no country will remain unaffected. Where we go now, the choices we make, and the future resilience of planet Earth ultimately depends upon us. Thank you.